for people who may not grasp this, why, Emily, does it matter the amount of people, the amount of lawyers we have at the Crown Prosecution Service? So the Crown Prosecution Service is essentially the organisation between police and the courts. They are the solicitors, quite often they're the advocates that take criminal cases to court. And it's quite difficult to attract best talent and quite difficult to keep it because they're so overworked and underpaid and so and, and not recognised. And recently they've lost, in the last year it seems, they've lost 25% of their of their prosecutors that means that the delays in the courts which are already appalling are only going to get worse we have too many cases that are cancelled simply because there isn't a prosecutor and cases are taking too long to prepare to get to court and the police may do the investigating but they do it under the auspices of a prosecutor so we need to do something about this do you know that if you are the victim of a rape Today, it will take on average a thousand days for your case to come to court, if indeed it does come to court. A thousand days. And, you know, for victims, for witnesses, the delays that are happening within our court system are appalling. And the stress that people go through as a result is just something which is unconscionable, in my view. The justice delayed is justice denied, and the government just seems to be completely complacent about it. So we do have a solution which we offer to the government today, which is that we should... There are things called associate prosecutors, and they are they're, they're specialists in criminal law. They're not general lawyers, but they're specialists, so they're like... So, so that's what their speciality is. And they've been working for the Crown Prosecution Service now for years. We think that they should be able to step up to being full prosecutors and that will actually increase the number of prosecutors that we have by 50%. And I do think that you know now is the time when we should be putting all hands to the pump. We should be, getting, be, be doing something serious about the crisis within our criminal justice system. Now, the crisis runs all the way through. It, it, we don't have enough police officers. We have too much crime. Not enough people are getting caught. But even those that are getting caught are taking too long for their cases to be processed and get through the court system. So we offer this today as part of the solution to the crisis in the criminal justice system. I think what's really scary as well is that there's um, big key areas uh, like organised crime or counter-terrorism uh, where, where these cases are backing up that we're not getting these prosecu uh, prosecutions and, and, the, and the public are not being protected in, in the way that they should be. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the people who prosecute these cases need to be valued and need to be supported. And that's simply not happening at the moment. The in, all the independent uh, reviews of the Crown Prosecution Service say that they are overworked, that they, their, their casework is simply far too big for them to be able to do it properly. And the idea that we've lost 25% of them over the last year will just make the situation worse. I don't want to be alarmist, but I want to tell, tell viewers the truth, which is that we have a criminal justice system which is in crisis and we have a government that is not dealing with it seriously. Okay.